you basically said in court, and you got the transcripts, mm -hmm. uh, you're not going to take down the website. That is correct. Right. And I will never, ever in my life, as long as I am alive, I will never take down that website. And I'm saying it to the, for the benefit of the crown, so they can all... Go, oh, this is horrible. Oh, look at this man. He has no respect for the system. He's just got contempt for the system. Fuck off. I just don't give a flying fuck. They can lock me up for the rest of my life. I don't care. I'm stuck in this fucking godforsaken shithole of a country, no offense. But None taken. Run by feminists and angry militants and such. And they can kiss my motherfucking ass. Um, the recorder, though. Yeah. I guess you should probably have it in this area because the sound doesn't travel very well through the glass. Sure. I'm assuming you're recording. Not only here, Good. but there, the room, as you can see, those little things there are mm -hmm. the uh, microphones or recorders sure. that will record everything. This is just a backup. Um, we are on a city budget, and so sometimes the equipment doesn't work as it should be. It's important to have good quality audio and video, though, for me to put onto the website. So I guess you know why we're here. Nope, no idea. No? I'm being sarcastic. I'm sure <laughs> it's got something to do with... Um, violating a probation order for not taking down the website within 48 hours, but really it's not about that, because if it was about that, you guys would have come and arrested me three or four weeks ago. Um, I'm sure it's probably because there's been a recent addition of some content that's very critical of Mark Meyer and exposes some corruption that he was engaged in. Tell me about it. No. No? It's on the website, but... Uh, oh, it's on the website? Well, yeah, everything's on the website. Even... Even the newer stuff related to the other cases yeah. is on the website now, but can't say more about it. It's on the website. It's say. on the website? Okay. The page is incomplete at this point, but you'll see at the top, in, yeah. highlighted in yellow, it says that uh, I posted it incomplete because um, I not being me, I being the person who posted it. Mm. Again, I'm neither admitting nor denying that I posted it. It's like you've um, done this before. <laughs> Um, it states on there that it's being hosted incomplete because the person expects that they're going to be arrested at any moment, or that they can be arrested at any moment. Okay. Hey, that, here I am. I was going to say, that being you. Uh, so... But well, you've seen the website. Yeah. You've already admitted Well, that. I wanted to know what the website was. Hmm. Right? Um, you find all the, um, the murder videos and the child porn and all that? Uh... There's nothing illegal on the website. Um... Oh, well, that's good. Just the website itself. The website itself is not illegal. No. No. Um, I was ordered to take it down as a condition of probation. It yep. doesn't mean there's anything illegal about the website. And yep. the criminal harassment that I was convicted of based in part on the website, yes. they're now refusing to prosecute me, adamantly refusing to prosecute me for yeah. that again because I published all of the proof of the corruption that happened at the first trial. Yeah. So there's so, nothing illegal about the website. If okay. there was, they would prosecute me. Fair enough. I'm not saying that the... Sorry, let me rephrase. The, the website, you're right, isn't illegal. But anyway, if they don't extend me, then my 30 days runs out in two days, so... Oh, okay. And Your any... timing is impeccable. <laughs> any plans on going anywhere, or have you been looking anywhere else to yeah. stay? North Fraser. Oh. I've been waiting for you guys to come and arrest me. I mean, I said to the judge, I'm not taking down the website. Yeah. I and mean, I'm kind of surprised it took this long. I think it's because if it were not for those recent um, changes about Mark Meyer, yeah. um, then probably nobody would have done anything. But I suspect that Mark Meyer probably threw a hissy fit because he's a little pansy bitch and went, oh, he's saying these mean things about me. Take this off. Get him in jail or something. Sorry, I haven't had coffee yet. So maybe you can give me some clarity because, like I said, I, re I reviewed a couple things on your website. Mm -hmm. But what... What did Mark Meyer do to you? Like, he was the prosecutor in the criminal harassment case. He knew they kept one. It's all on the website. No, I know. Like I said, I've been through it. I'm surprised because before this, you had no criminal history. You had very little interaction yes. in the eyes of everyone. Yes. You are a normal, I upstanding was, citizen. Yes. And then and shit happened. Yes, because my fucking ex-wife yeah. took my child, ran off to another fucking state with him. Yeah. Tells a bunch of lies to get me deported to a fucking country that I'm not a fucking citizen of. Yeah. Then I end up up here, and then you get, not you, but Thank you. the stupid fucking system up here pulls all this bullshit about lying and ignoring all of her perjury and such, finds me guilty and sends me to prison for three fucking years. And then I get out, and then they say, no, you can't leave British Columbia. You're not a Canadian citizen. You can't work. You can't support yourself, but we're not going to let you leave for three years. I mean, what the fuck? Okay, I'm not going to lie to you. That sounds fucked. If the fucking bitch would have just 
stayed out of our life. She was gone for nine fucking years. She didn't have to come back and yeah. take my son and run off and go, oh, he's trying to take my child and take him to another country. You need to arrest him. Yeah. And then this jackass CBSA up here tells Homeland Security, oh, yeah, you can deport him here. He's not a Canadian citizen, but fuck it. We'll, we're puppets of you, so go ahead. Okay, that's it. That's the whole story. So you're an American citizen stuck in Canada. Yes. But they're saying you're a Canadian citizen? No. It's, they're not, you're not even a Canadian citizen, but they won't let you back in the States. CBSA and IRCC documents, it yeah. clearly states, they're on the website right there. They yeah. were evidence at one of my trials recently. Yeah. They clearly state that I was born in the United States. They acknowledge it. But now, because they fucked up so bad allowing Homeland Security to deport me here, yeah. now they won't get involved. No. I say, well, remove me. I can't leave voluntarily, so please deport me. If I get deported, then it's, it's okay. I'm not violating probation. Yeah. But we're not going to get involved. Involved. Of course not. So, I'm stuck here living in fucking homeless shelters until the end of 2021. And if I go back to the U.S., yeah. they're going to issue a warrant here, and then Homeland Security is going to come and arrest me and send me back like they did the last two times. Yeah. So, that's why I'm a little bit pissed off. And that's why um, I was a perfectly fine, upstanding citizen before, yeah. and then everything falls apart after this. Yeah. With the criminal harassment thing, in 2015... She files the complaint, the RCMP investigates. I had a firearms license, a PAL, at the time. Okay. Now, if there was any credibility to her claims at all, they would have suspended my PAL. But they investigated for four months, and during that four-month state, my PAL was in a restricted state where I just couldn't buy any new firearms. But they didn't suspend it, they didn't take away the firearms okay. that I had. They investigated, they determined that her, her claims were not credible, there's nothing to worry about, and then they restored my PAL back to normal. Okay. Then, a few months later, because I decided to move back to the U.S., then they decide to arrest me and ship me back here. Okay. So, it's starting to seem like there's a pattern here that um, they freak out and get angry and arrest me when I go back to the U.S. Except this time. This time it's because I made Mark Meyer look like a pansy bitch. Now, is it just Mark Meyer that you're, and your ex-wife that you're pissed off with? or? Well, I've got a lot to say about Bernie Wolf as well. Yeah. Mark Meyer even said at the sentencing that if I get removed or if I'm told to leave by IRCC or CBSA, yeah. obviously he's not going to prosecute me for that because then I'm not leaving voluntarily. Of course. So that's exactly what I did. I turned myself in at the Douglas border crossing. Yeah. CBSA tells me, oh, you're not admissible, but I don't think that the U.S. is going to allow you in because you don't have proof of citizenship on you. I'm like, don't worry about that. I'll deal with that with CBSA. And then I confirmed that, okay, but I'm not admissible, right? If I try to go back in, you're going to arrest me. She says, yes, you are absolutely not admissible to Canada. So then I go back to the U.S. I knew CBP, CBP was going to arrest me. Yeah. And so I was prepared for that. Mm -hmm. um, but then the jack-off goes and gets a warrant up here, and then they send me back here for that. And then Bernie Wolf was the prosecutor on that case. Yeah. Um, uh, CBSA destroys the video footage of me at the border. Then they lie and say that there's no evidence I ever presented myself. And then... Bernie Wolf is in court lying about that too, saying, oh, Mr. Fox must be lying about presenting himself to CBSA on that day because there's absolutely no record that he did. And surely there would be some record. But then I get from IRCC a copy of my GCMS, my Global Case Management System yep. report, which shows the notes. It has the notes from the CBSA officer. They've been lying all this time to the court and everybody. Yeah. So I show that to the court and the court says, okay, well, we're going to proceed and I want the CBSA officer to come and testify. And then, of course, she comes and testifies, but then she lies, and she actually testifies that at a port of entry, the burden is on CBSA to prove that somebody's not a Canadian citizen. And if CBSA can't prove that I'm not a Canadian citizen or somebody's not, yeah. they have to allow the person into the country. I'm, what is wrong with you? The law is the opposite on the matter. At a port of entry, the burden is on the person seeking entry to Canada to prove that they're entitled to enter. Anyway. What a fucking fiasco. This whole fucking justice system up here, or at least in the Vancouver area, is so fucking demented. All right, so we've built a rapport. Yes. So I, honestly, no, I, now I'll tell you everything that you want to know. No. I'm being sarcastic. Obviously. Screwed by the system. Um, okay. And, um, yeah, sure. Fine. So, who has access to this website? Not like, sure. like, you, okay. I can tell you that... Yeah. People outside of Canada. People outside. Oh, wait, wait. When you say have access to the website, you mean to the content? Yes. Like, who can, who can Or who has access to go to in to log into? Oh, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, like, who, not, can, no, who can post things into this website? No? No. Okay. Um, okay. You know I have to ask. Of course. Right? Um, but you were given the condition to take it down. So, it can. is it safe to assume? Let like, me just, ask you. Yo, Do you please. have any evidence at all that the website was not taken down within 48 hours and then put right back up by somebody else? Uh, 
Uh, my knowledge. I know the answer to that question. The question. The answer is yeah. No. Okay. So let's say hypothetically speaking. Everything is hypothetical. Of course, everything is hypothetical. Otherwise, I'd be admitting stuff. <laughs> Uh, what would it take for the website to be taken down? I'm just curious. For the BC government, maybe uh, David Eby himself, um, to admit to all the corruption and the collusion, to basically to admit that everything that I'm claiming in my affidavit on the website is true, and to overturn my conviction for criminal harassment, and then obviously any other convictions that stem from that would have to be overturned. And for my ex-wife to get throat cancer and die a slow, miserable death. The last part is negotiable. But the other stuff, um, I'm not going to take down any of, or nobody is going to take down any of the proof of any of the corruption that has occurred in my cases or any of the many other cases that you guys keep introducing me to by locking me up in North Fraser and putting me with a bunch of other people who have had similar experiences. Um, and so none of that's going to come down um, unless the provincial government acknowledges publicly that uh, I didn't actually commit criminal harassment and that Mark Meyer and Bernie Wolf are evil and miserable pricks. Um, whether they admit it or not, the yeah. proof is there. More proof is coming. I mean, there's still a lot more stuff that needs to be put on the website. Yeah. Like what? Mm, can't answer that. Not, sorry. I can answer that. I'm yeah. not going to answer that. Okay. Um, there's... I'm sure you've seen this very uh, in-depth. This is your letter to David Eby. Gosh, wonderful. Wait, 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 wait. Um, I'm neither admitting nor denying that I actually posted that on there. Now, okay. there's nothing that prohibits me from writing the letter. Yeah. Um, the probation can, well, the probation condition that you're arresting me on doesn't actually prohibit me from putting any further content on the website. The Correct. only condition was that I take it down. Yes. If I take it down and somebody else puts it right back up, or even I put it right back up, yep. 24 hours later, mm -hmm. I've still complied with that condition. So. These hey, I'm not lawyers, gonna... you would think that they would write these th the, the conditions better, but. I'm not, <laughs> how do I say this? Uh, uh, you know, I am gonna actually say that. No, say I'm pretty it. sure you, you posted this. Because you signed it. <laughs> Sincerely, Patrick Fox. Well, let me ask you this question. Yeah. Let's say, for example, hypothetically, let's yeah. say if um, Desiree was maintaining this website okay. just for the purposes of making my life difficult, because of course everybody's going to assume it's me. Yeah. Then she's not going to sign it Desiree Capuano, she's nope. going to sign it Patrick Fox. Yep. Yeah. Right. The thing is, the thing is, if by posting that on there, I yep. violated a probation condition from another probation order, and if I were to admit to something like yeah. that here and now, yeah. you guys obviously would share that admission with the other agency that would prosecute me for that other violation. So, Which I'm not going to admit or deny anything that could be used in any other cases either. No. End of the day. It's not that I hate all prosecutors and yeah. all uh, police. Just the first guy. Just, well, no, just the ones that are corrupt. Just the yeah. ones that lie and cheat and destroy evidence. And yeah. I don't want to lie to you. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie to you, right? Like, A, uh, I don't want to be a corrupt person. <laughs> uh, but B, like, it would just be a disservice to you and it would be a disservice to me. I'm not going to do that. Okay. Right? So you basically said in court and you got the transcripts, mm -hmm. uh, you're not going to take down the website. That is correct. Right. And I will never, ever in my life, as long as I am alive, well, that's yeah. dependent. As long as I am alive, I will never take down that website. Now, what would you do if this website was taken down? I'm pretty sure that it would probably resurface on a different hosting provider. The exact same thing or like a different? I'm pretty sure it's already set up with another hosting provider so that it would just be a matter of changing the DNS um, entries. You understand that my entire life has been destroyed, right, because of that evil cunt's lies and stuff. Now, see, it's one thing, she can cry and whine that I destroyed her life with this website, but everything on the website is true. I'm mm -hmm. not telling any lies, I'm just informing yeah. people of the kind of person she is. My life has literally been destroyed because of her going on the news media and in court and telling a bunch of lies. This made media? Was that? Oh. This made the news? Oh, yeah. I didn't know this made the news. Back so, anyway. That blog post, or that, that, mm -hmm. is that a, yeah, that yeah, is a yeah. blog post. Do you want to see it? So, no, no, I'm, I'm familiar with it. I've seen it. <laughs> You've seen it. Um, so that blog post is yeah. there, and uh, 
It's got nothing to do with this current charge, so... Yeah. No, you're right. I, I, I've said that from the get-go. Yeah, yeah. Um, but like I said, when, when you're given conditions mm -hmm. to do something and you basically tell the judge you're not going to do something, mm -hmm. as you said, you've been waiting for the police to arrest you. Oh, yeah. I mean, I was getting kind of nervous because my 30 days of Belkin was running out, and I was thinking, well, fuck, what am I going to do? i got to go find Belkin. a place. Well, I'm, on one hand, I'm happy we could help. <laughs> Well, hopefully I'm going to go back to North Fraser, and then the trial's probably going to be set probably about six or eight months down the road. Consider this, if you will. I'm listening. The Crown and the court are justifying ordering me to take down the website, um, claiming that it's for Capuano's protection. Mm -hmm. However, they're refusing to prosecute me for criminal harassment again for the website being back online, which proves that they don't care about Capuano's or, uh, protection. It's really, they want me to take the website down because it makes them look bad. Yeah. And they can kiss my motherfucking ass. And this is going to be played in court in a few months when the trial goes on. And the judge can watch when I'm saying this. I just don't give a flying fuck. They can lock me up for the rest of my life. I don't care. My life is over. It's ruined. I haven't had contact with my son since 2016. I'm exiled from the only place that I want to live. Um, I'm stuck in this fucking godforsaken shithole of a country, no offense. None taken. Run by feminists and angry militants and such. So I don't care. I don't give a flying fuck. No. You're never going to take down the website. Nope. And I'm saying all this for the benefit of the judge who's going to be watching this in a few months when it goes to trial. Okay. And I'm saying it to the, for the benefit of the crown. So they can all go, oh, this is horrible. Oh, look at this man. He has no respect for the system. He's just got contempt for the system. Fuck off. I'm looking at the camera when I say that, not you. I uh, know. Okay. Okay. Uh, I will be right back. Do you need anything in the meantime? Are you good right now? Yeah, coffee and cigarettes. Oh, uh, you know. I guess. Yeah. Like I said, I'll see what I can do about the smokes. Mm. Uh, give me one minute. One minute. Bad stuff, bad stuff, bad stuff. I'm saying incriminating stuff. Oh, I'm saying stuff that you can use against me right now. I was trying to track you down with some smokes. Mm, but thanks. I, the last time I worked down here in the east side, uh, was seven years ago now. My past doesn't work on some of the doors. So um, if there is a BET member that comes in, usually they have access. We have a couple smokes upstairs. I'm not going to promise that I can get them. Of course not. Cause they're, and the only reason I say that is because they're very busy today mm. with incidents I was talking about earlier. Um, but <clears throat> if I can find somebody, I'll see if I'll get you some smokes. Great, and thanks. a coffee. While you were out, I said a bunch of bad things and incriminating things into the... Uh, oh, did you? Yes, yes. I'm sure. Bad dose. Yeah. So I can you'll see wrap this up. We're done. Oh, you'll we'll see when you play back. <laughs> uh, am I going to laugh later? Probably. Okay. <laughs> You're arrested today because the website's still up because you haven't taken it down, right? Mm -hmm. um, Although you yourself have admitted that um, nobody in the VPD actually has any evidence to support that. I mean, it is still up now. Yeah. However... Like I said, yeah. um, if I had taken it down within 48 hours yeah. and then put it right back up, I would have complied with the condition because there was no condition that yeah. prohibited me from putting it right back up. It just said, you must take it down within 48 hours. You were in computers before this, weren't you? I'm a software engineer. Okay. So you, you know a lot about computers, it's safe to say that. Indeed. Okay. And who would, again, have access to your website? <laughs> like, like, and I, I don't need names, but like... The website's very specific, right? Is it? It's, what's the website address? DesiCapuano.com. It's specific. Who else at this stage 
really has the same interest as you to post this website. Desiree Capuano has screwed over a yeah. lot of people over the years. Yeah. There are lots of people that hate Desiree Capuano. There are lots of people that like to share information yeah. to help make her life miserable. Yeah. I'm not alone in this. No. People like her, these evil sociopaths that go around using people and taking yeah. advantage of them. Consider yeah. she manipulated and, and defrauded the public with her GoFundMe campaign. Oh, there's lots of people that what are... What GoFundMe pissed. campaign? She had a GoFundMe campaign before that some feminist on Jezebel pushed her to start. <clears throat> yeah. Um... So she started that. I found out about it, obviously. Yeah. Um, after I was already was I already in custody? Yeah, yeah. Because it was after I was arrested on the criminal harassment thing. Yeah. Um, she was going well. It's there's a copy of it on the website, but okay. it's still the original GoFundMe campaign is still there too. If you Google it, you'll find it. Uh, just yeah. whining and crying about how oh her life is destroyed because of this harassment. Please help me to change all of my public records yeah. and start a new life and such. And then she admitted at the trial that. The money she gained from that, she actually spent on other stuff unrelated. Where'd she so, admit that? At the trial. Oh, okay. Again, the transcripts and the recordings yeah. of that are on the website. Again, there was a lot of no, I on that website. I understand. Okay. I don't mean again as in, I've already told you this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean again you, as in, you see yeah. all this horrible stuff that she did is yeah. on the website. Yeah, and, um, you, and you've grabbed the transcripts on the court and you've posted it there so that everybody can see that... She's defrauding the system. I neither admit nor deny how I obtained the transcripts or if I was the one that put the transcripts on there. Yeah. Um, but, but I will say that the transcripts are on the website. Yeah. For the purpose of showing, proving to everybody that yeah. she committed at least 81 counts of perjury at the trial yeah. that Mark Meyer and Tony Lagamant knew about and refused to confront her on. And then there were another... 150 or so yeah. instances of perjury that she committed, but that it's reasonable that Meyer and Lagamat may not have known. Oh, okay. And you suspect that she might be running this website herself? I'm. Do you not... think she's smart enough to run this website? Oh, she's a twit. She's one of those people that just watches CNN all day and repeats what she hears other smart sounding people say, and she goes, Look, I'm smart, I can repeat stuff. Ah, she's an idiot. I'm not saying that I believe that she's the one yeah. that's yeah. that's maintaining this website yeah. right now. I mean, that would just be crazy and delusional, and nobody's going to believe that. No. Yeah, but she's a sociopath. She likes attention regardless. I mean, consider, she does absolutely nothing to get the website taken down. Mm -hmm. um, at this point, the website is more really about um, just exposing the corruption up here, because she doesn't give a shit about the website. If she did, she'd do something. Yeah. And now... So do you, would you say that the the website is now shifting from focusing solely on her to more of the corruption up here? I would say that shift occurred probably sometime between January and March of last year. It, when all the RV Fox stuff was posted on there. Oh, uh, okay. Everything has to be confirmed before it goes on the website. It's important that everything must be true on the website. If you get caught telling one lie, you lose all your credibility. Uh, as much as I don't like this website, I do respect that. By putting, by exposing the corruption um, intermingled with the website, yeah. um, then in order to prosecute me for it again, they would necessarily be exposing their own corruption. Um, and you don't think that's going to happen because nobody wants to expose themselves? They haven't yet. And every time I go to court, I demand that they prosecute me for criminal harassment and they say, we're not going to do that. Yeah. So. And why do you think that is? Because that would mean a new criminal harassment trial, which means yeah. a new jury, which means all of the perjury and the misconduct that occurred at the first trial yeah. is going to be shown to the jury. Capuano would have to come and testify. She'd be cross-examined on all of the perjury she committed. Yeah. Um, she'd be cross-examined on her interactions with uh, victim services. Oh, there's a horrible group of people, let me tell you. Holy fuck, they'll do anything to get people to testify against complainants and stuff, even or against uh, accused parties, even if the complainant doesn't want to, even if the complainant was lying in the beginning and yeah. says, you know what, I lied, maybe I don't want to go further with this, yeah. but they'll say, no, no, this is a bad man, no, you've got to fight against this, don't worry, you did nothing wrong. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, you've mentioned money a couple times. Have um, I? How are you, like, are you on financial assistance, like welfare or anything no, like that? No, right I don't now? qualify for social assistance. While I was out previously, the probation officer 
told me to apply for social assistance. I said, I'm not, I'm not eligible. He said, well, apply anyway, because him and the prosecutors have their heads so far up their asses that yeah. they look in the computer and it says that I'm a Canadian citizen. So they go, what? It says here he's yeah. a Canadian citizen. I mean, the fact that he's got a U.S. birth certificate and the fact that IRCC documents say he was born in the U.S., that's irrelevant. Our computer says he's a Canadian citizen. Anyway, so it took about two or two and a half months. Um, but they finally denied the application because IRCC told them that I have no status in Canada. Okay. So right now you have zero income coming in. That is absolutely correct. Okay. Previously, I still had some credit cards that hadn't expired yet. So I was able to support myself minimally on some bit. credit cards. But yeah. nope, now I am completely destitute and homeless. Okay. Um, and if you had money, would you hire that private detective? I'd like to back alley and do that. No, thing. you're not a drug addict at I, all. I'm Again, I've spent years around drug addicts. You are not that at all. Uh, but would you ever hire a PI to go an of investigator? Of course. Just to expose her corruption? Yes. I mean, a lot of the information that I got about her before was from a private investigator. Oh, okay. There's nothing illegal about that. No. Especially since it's in another country. You see, the Canadian courts, the Canadian courts don't seem to understand that they only have jurisdiction in Canada. Prosecuting an American citizen who has a dispute with another American citizen, both parties of which have no ties to Canada at all, is fucking ridiculous to do that in Canada. How about you guys just kick me out of the country, I'll go back to the US, and you can let the US courts deal with it. It's so retarded that they send me back up here to prosecute me for criminal harassment. How dare you, sir, make sense. How dare you. Is there anything else that you think we need to know about the website? Let's just go with that because, again, that's why we're here. Yeah, about right? the, the breach um, for the website. Well, let's see. I can say that there is a lot more content still uh, that needs to be put on. It's very time consuming, though, you know? Yeah. And since I'm broke and destitute and homeless, the people that, you know, share cigarettes with me, I got to kiss their ass. And if they want to walk over to 7 Eleven, they'll give me a couple of cigarettes. Well, hey, I got to go along. Yep. So I've not been the most productive, but uh, there's a lot more content. Um, and it's going to go up. And locking me up in jail is not going to stop anything. It's not going to change anything. Um, shit, what was I saying? I forgot. Sorry. Oh, you were That's confessing called. to absolutely everything about running uh, the I website. Thought so. I thought so. Okay, let me tell you where I put the bodies of the children. Yeah. Oh, yeah, obviously. <laughs> it's always about kids. Um, no, honestly, what you were... My, my last question to you was, is there anything else that I need to know about the website? Oh, yes, yes. Okay, yeah. and I was saying that, yes, there's still a lot more content um, yeah. that is going to be published. Yeah. We know you're the one posting these things because you're signing your name at the bottom of them. Mm. Wait, so are you saying that if I put that post on there yeah. and I had signed someone else's name, yeah. that would mean someone else did it? Obviously. Mm. But, yeah. you know, this was just a vent to David Eby about the fact that... The government and the court system and that... Their that refusal to prosecute me yeah. is essentially an yeah. admission that what I'm saying is true. No. I mean, that's the point. Yeah. You're probably... Obviously, you're going to go into my phone. You're not getting... I, well, I shouldn't say you're not getting it into the laptop. It's extremely unlikely you're going to get into the laptop. Um, but good luck with that. And if you do, I'd be very surprised and I'd like to let Lenovo know that you guys were actually able to get into it because apparently their security is quite good. Yeah. Um... If but, you want to talk in the hypothetical, what would be on there? I'm not even going to mention no. anything about that. No, no. Um, I'll leave that up to you guys to figure that out. Um, I had to ask. Of course, of course. And what, from what I saw of the, yeah. what do you call it, the digital forensics unit from the previous case, yeah. and their handling of like finding stuff on my phone, they are full of incompetent people who are going to find absolutely nothing. So You're not worried at all? No, not in the slightest bit. Uh, again, last opportunity. Is there anything else that you would like to, to have a conversation with me about uh, regarding the website other than the fact that you will absolutely never take it down? I think you've made that abundantly clear. Yes, I have made that abundantly clear, yes. Okay. Um, no, nah, I don't think that there's anything further. Um, okay. <clears throat> okay. Oh, did the Crown ever find its uh, laptop? Apparently, they were under the impression that when I was released from North Fraser, that yeah. I took the laptop or something. I have no idea. Oh, all right. Did you take their laptop? I did not. Okay. <laughs> There's, they have security video cameras yeah. there. You could see me walking out with my Yeah, stuff. okay.
Do you know anyone who would have taken a laptop or? I don't know, someone at North Fraser, I guess. I mean, it's not like people can just walk in and out of the place. Okay. Okay, there's nothing else. Uh, I'm going to conclude the interview. The time is 8.41 a.m. Okay. Um, so the audio video in here are going to be shut off, but so that there aren't going to be any claims of inducement or anything along those lines, I'm going to be leaving that on. Oh, uh, <laughs> I was going to say, is this where you guys come in and beat the crap out of me? No. No, no, no. We, we've evolved since, you know, the early 1900s. Um, so did you finish your, your bar? I finished it. It was horrible. Yeah. Horrible, horrible.